everybody? It's West Road Sal, and today we're doing another wrestling review. It's Royal Rumble 2007. It's a nice, nice case, actually. They show, like, a bunch of wrestlers on the cover. In the back, though, you have a thing over here. Ric Flair and Sandman fighting, fighting each other in the Royal Rumble. It never actually happens. Ric Flair comes in much before Sandman. So, it's sort of false advertising, but all of wrestling is sort of false advertising because they, they, they wrestle, but it's sort of fake. That's for another video. Don't, don't let me get started with that. First match of Royal Rumble 2007 is uh, Eminem versus the Hardy Boys. Two and a half out of five. The first five minutes of the match is a beat up on Matt for a while. Melina is screaming every time one of the members of Eminem get injured. It's kind of annoying. There's a botched double top rope drop where both of them, both of them fall onto uh, Joey Mercury. But Joey Mercury has his knees up. So Matt Hardy on one end actually hurts himself. You can you can tell that it was botched, you know. A little a little nasty. There's cheating involved. The, the M M or the heels obviously. Joey Mercury is wearing a nose brace because he broke his nose to to smack the thing was the smackdown two weeks before the the pay per view, if I remember correctly. It was slow, not a crazy match. Twelve minutes in there was the special. The uh there was a swanton bomb on on John Morrison from Jeff Hardy which ended the match. The Hardy Boys won him. There's a promo in the back afterwards with Randy Orton and Edge. The, um, Randy Orton and Edge are drawing their numbers for the Royal Rumble through a through a lottery spin thing. I forgot the word for it, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Edge Edge assessed to Randy Orton. I'll show you mine if you, if you show me yours. The, concerning the 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 uh, numbers on the balls, you know. <laughs> King Booker comes in uh, uh, all of a sudden with Charmel and says. Tell me, you just didn't say that, and it's it's sort of awkward because you never knew Booker T, even if he was even if he had the King gimmick at the time, you never you never thought he would come in and just say that. You thought he would be like, it, with a different character sort of a character perspective. It, it was a little it was a little awkward. It was a little new. It was funny though. Bobby Lashley versus Test was ne was the next match. Both the big guys. This was for the ECW Championship. Brutal arm breaker from Test. It was, it was, a, a, a little. I squinted a little when I saw it because it actually looked nasty. It was a nice cheap boom suplex from Bobby Lashley, offensive from Lashley. He was going really, really hard at it. But after the arm breaker, he was selling and his arm was injured. So that was that was pretty nice of him to do that. He, uh, they're, they're halfway into the match. This is how it ends, and Test just walks out. Test just walks out. Count to ten. And the match is over. So no, but there was no real winner. Bobby Lashley gets to test and beats him up, and that's how the match ends. Two out of two and a half out of five. Good match, but just there was no winner. So I couldn't really rate it very high. The Joey uh, Eminem versus the Hardy Boys was a three three out of five in my opinion. I don't think I said that in the beginning. After that, there's John Cena in the and in, in the doctor's room in the back. He was a uh, Umaga assaulted him the role before, and so he was getting chopped, he was getting checked up in the doctor's office to see if he, if he was eligible for the nice match. I'm still getting over his cold, man. It's really long cold. It's, Mc, McMahon comes in and, and, and bashes Cena. Like, it's really different to see McMahon not liking Cena. He, now he's like, he's McMahon's number one guy, even in the storylines. It's, it's different to see that he, he, McMahon was bashing Cena. Like, you will get demolished from Umaga. So, not, not in those exact words, but you know what I'm saying. The next match was Batista versus Mr. Kennedy. It's, this was a solid match, 3 out of 5. Mr. Kennedy's nose starts bleeding. Batista's selling injuries left and right. There was a ref bump, too. It was really intense. Short, but pretty good. If it went on a little longer, I would give it a 4 out of 5. I really would have. Because it was, it was a good match. It's just pretty short, pretty... On the short scale, Batista goes for a power bomb. Was this? No, it wasn't. I thought it was in the steel, steel cage. No, I don't think it was. Batista, Batista goes for the Batista bomb, right? Mr. Kennedy still punching him, but I guess Batista just ignores this. Like, obviously Kennedy wanted to do a reversal, but he just does the Batista bomb anyway. It, it, it's just like Kennedy wanted the match to go on longer, but Batista was like, "Screw you! This is how it's gonna end." So it was pretty. It was funny to watch that. I, I don't think normal people would notice that, 
But since I, I, I see a lot of wrestling, I, I noticed that. It was pretty funny. Three out of five. Solid match. Excuse me. There was a promo next. Hornswoggle is actually looking to get a number for the Royal Rumble in the back. He's going nuts at the, at, the, at, at, at uh, who was it? Who was it? Coach. Coach was, uh, Coach was observing everyone taking a ballot. Hornswoggle just, this was at the time he didn't talk, so he went nuts. He went completely nuts. He was beating up Coach. <laughs> Kali takes three balls. And, and Kelly, 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 this was her ECW stripper stupid dumb gimmick, you know. Kelly Kelly says that this was, th those are the biggest balls I've seen in my life, something like that. Farouk comes in and says, damn, you know. It was pretty funny to see Farouk come in again. But uh, I could see why Kelly yeah, Ke Kelly Kelly left, you know. She wasn't being treated right. The next, the next, the last match before the Royal, Royal Rumble was John Cena versus Umaga. Last man standing match, the WWE Championship. This match was really good. This match should be on, on Umaga's best of DVD if anybody ever makes it. Really should. Even though, even though he was inevitably going to be beat by John Cena one of those days, you know. <laughs> Cena was really selling his damaged ribs from from the attack, you know. Omaga uh, uh, constantly attacking them, constantly just, it, it, it looked, it looked nasty. Super Cena, obviously. He takes over eventually in the very end. There's blood all over the ring. There's brutal moves. There's one spot where John Cena hits Omaga in the face with the camera from the announcer's table. But the, 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 the cameraman doesn't see it right. He poses so, so the move can be done. But it doesn't have to, but... Cena doesn't actually have to do it, you know. It's it's it's. You know what I you know what I mean if you see it. He uh, Cena botches a move. He he attempts to drop Umaga onto steel steps in the ring, but John Cena falls down too, and it looks like he hit it. He hits his head, and that's what caused the bleeding to start. It it was there was a lot of moves in this match that looked really good, but in a sense really nasty, so to speak. The match ends by, actually, I, he's, he, Cena goes for an STNFU, STFU submission. He just, he brutalizes Umaga with it. And then he gets up and, and waits for Umaga to come, to get up. And he does. And then after that, John Cena actually puts him through an announcer's table. He still gets up. And then, I think, what does he do? If I, I think I wrote down here, but... I think he does. I think he does a. Um, yeah, he does a. At well, now it's called an attitude adjustment. He does an attitude adjustment onto steel steps for the third time after doing the STFU. After doing, um, the after doing all the moves I told you about, he does a attitude adjustment onto the steel steps, and Umaga does not get out from that. <laughs> so obviously, John Cena wins. Now the ro the thing we've all been waiting for. It says. Royal Rumble, so the Royal Rumble 2007. The first two to go at, to get to go at it is Flinley and Ric Flair. Now that's a dream match in itself. I just I was a little sad that it happened in the Rumble and not in a match in itself. You know, Ric Flair gets chair right, and then he gets eliminated. So he didn't use the chair at all. It was stupid. It's like it's like the wrestlers said, all like the wrestlers that were in the ring besides Ric Flair. They was they said like, what's he doing? Get a chair, eliminate him right away. Uh. Sabu comes in, he sets the table outside of the ring, he doesn't actually use it, Kane uses it to eliminate Sabu. Sandman comes through the crowd, hitting himself with the candlestick in the head, makes him bloody, and as soon as he gets in the ring, boom, eliminated. It's funny, it's funny to watch that. Orton was a little bit chubby. <laughs> he, he lost a lot of the weight, he's a good fan, you know? Booker T gets eliminated, comes back and beats up... Booker T gets eliminated, comes back, beats up Kane, eliminates Kane. Now, how does that work? Booker T is eliminated, but he has the ability to eliminate someone else, even though he's out of the Rumble. That rule still applies to the day, because I think it happened in, in like, the past year's Rumble. I, I don't know how that rule happens. Viscera comes in in a big white suit. Now, that's really distracting, because he's, like, 500 pounds, and this, this big white suit is covering, like, one-fourth of the ring. It's really distracting. He gets eliminated by, like, 
15 people have to eliminate him. Meanwhile, in the back, Finley is fighting HBK. It's really a sight to see this. But uh, Finley versus HBK, it should have happened in a singles match. As well as Finley versus Ric Flair. They like to tease matches in the Rumble that never never actually get to happen, you know? Um, Great Khali comes in, literally, literally knocks everyone out. He starts eliminating people. And they're like, well, we can eliminate the Great Khali. Undertaker comes in, number 30. Eliminates Kali. Kali botches him his elimination. It takes him like five minutes to to to, to flip over the ropes. <laughs> the guy, I know I know he has him because he's Indian. Like you get the Indian audience, you know. But uh, maybe the Indian people don't see this. But he's good because he's a big guy. He fight with big guys, but he's really slow. So balance there, you know. Undertaker wins by eliminating HBK after a really good fight, you know. Uh, Undertaker eliminates Great Khali, but then HBK is waiting, you know, for the match. Uh, good fight from both. Undertaker eliminates HBK, and that's what basically starts the feud for WrestleManias to come. Um, I think that's it. That's it. Oh, one more thing. Before the actual Rumble, there, Rumble, there was a promo. In the back with the with the Royal Rumble uh, lottery thing, Ric Flair comes in. He takes it. He takes a thing. Take he takes a, 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 a an entrance an entrance number for the Rumble, which was number one, obviously. All of a sudden, these two divas well not divas actually because they're not wrestling. These two women come next to him. They just start dancing, and that's how the promo ends. And believe it or not, the two dancers who were not yet wrestlers at the time, if you look at their faces. Layla and Miss T Miss Tessmacher from TNA. They're really young, so it's hard to see. But you can actually notice. And you're like... Farouk should have came in again and said, Damn. Um, so, the Royal Rumble was, was good. It was good. It was just... There was there was little to no guest appearances. No cameos. But it was a good r Rumble overall. So, yeah, did I miss anything? I don't think so. John Cena vs. Amaga was 4 out of 5. Batista vs. Mr. Kennedy was a 3 out of 5. Uh, Barbara Lester vs. Tess was a 2.5 out of 5. And John Morrison and Eminem vs. The Hardy Boys was a 3 out of 5. The Royal Rumble was a solid 3 out of 5. I'm not sure if I can give it 4. I'll go to 3.5. So, uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and Hack GU Volume 1 gameplay is coming today. So look out for that. Westwood Sal out. Peace.